This is a pumpkin. Wait, no, wait, boy. Oh my gosh, Bowser's getting so heavy. Oh! Oh, jeez, did you see that? Just absolutely took a chunk out. And today, we're feeding pumpkins. Come on, Brillo. Brillo loves this. He loves pumpkins. He loves squash. He's absolutely incredible. Look at him. He's like, oh, this is the best food ever. Brillo is definitely a fan of Halloween in October. There's no doubt about it. Look at how awesome he is. He is in heaven right now. Brillo, you're so amazing. I tell you what, I love this animal so much. Hey, buddy boy, you excited? So we're going to try to feed pumpkins off to all our animals today because, hey, I'm a big fan of October. Fall is amazing. And I think Brillo's a fan as well. Time to cut up a pumpkin. Ugh! Tell you what, I could do a little jack-o'-lantern. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. Everything about Halloween is amazing. I have a feeling that some of our animals are gonna love this. We'll just cut some pieces up for them and try to see if they wanna eat. A lot of people don't realize, but pumpkins are actually a fruit. A lot of people think that they're vegetables. And a lot of our animals do eat fruit. And some of the animals that don't eat fruit, we're gonna try anyways. Like Elvis, who is certainly our carnivore. Let's see if he wants to come out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, stay right here. You want to try? What's he going to do? Now, some monitor species will actually eat fruit. Now, he may not be that interested in it. Do you want to try to eat it, buddy? I don't think he did. I'm actually pretty surprised by that. I thought he would devour it down just to try it. Because like I said, there's actually a monitor species that only eats fruit, which is really amazing. And these guys will occasionally eat fruits in the wild. But I wasn't sure what's going to happen. He was like, no, Dad, I'm not interested. That's okay, Elvis. Not everyone likes pumpkin. Speaking of that, uh, I've never really liked pumpkin pie. Let's see what happens with RJ. RJ, whoa! Come on, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, up here, up here, up here, up here. <laughs> RJ. Oh, whoa! Whoa, oh, look at him, look at him, look at him go. Look at him, he's sacking the door. Holy cow. Oh, oh my gosh, RJ. He definitely went after that thing. And interestingly enough, you can see, look at he's actually going to try to eat it right now. Now, you might think like, hey, alligators don't even really eat fruits. But the truth is, there's been some observation where they've actually eaten papaya and other things like that. And even if he doesn't eat it, it's good enrichment, right? So he's got to use that brain. He's used to getting meat. And now he's got something different. It's going to taste different. It's going to feel different. The sensation is different. But oh my gosh, did he go after it? As soon as I dropped it in there, he was on it like that. I mean, that was absolutely incredible. And he still seems to be enjoying it, definitely tasting it, because alligators can taste. And that 2,000 plus pounds of PSI, that bite force is absolutely incredible. Look at him, he's going after death. Let's see if he wants to try another bite. Look at him, he's going after it. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him go. Oh, he's got the whole thing in his mouth now. I just think this is so cool to see RJ like this. I mean, it's not like he bit it and just let it go. He actually is into it. He's like, what is this thing? Again, he's thinking he's using his brain. And look at, look at him crush it. I knew he would probably take a bite out of it, but I didn't know that he'd be so interested in it. What's he going to do? I have no idea. Look at him. He's trying to eat it. This is so cool. And again, in the wild, they're going to take these opportunities to do that. Look at, he is definitely eating this thing. Wow. This is awesome. Month of October. Of course, the animals have to get their Halloween treats on. It's a spooky month. And that animal right there would be spooky if you got your hand caught in there. I think that he's enjoyed this. It's turned out epic. You know, my family always said that I love pumpkin pie, but I've actually never even tried pumpkin pie. I don't know. There's just something that's an aversion about it. What are you talking about? You love pumpkin pie. But I do have an idea. Let's get the boys together. It's your turn to eat pumpkins. You guys like whipped cream? Yes. Okay, so this Look is gonna be, this is gonna be a contest. Who can eat it the quickest? The whole pie. I like this stuff. Hands behind your back. Oh! <laughs> I just want to use go. my hands and enjoy the pie. pie. You guys ready? Yeah. Go. You guys getting pie? <laughs> okay, said, Noah's crushing, man. I thought Mike would take this in a heartbeat. Now, you don't have to eat the crust, just the inside. Oh, damn. No. What? I don't even try to eat the crust. Okay, you can eat the crust, too. That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat the crust if you can, don't have to. How many calories do you have? <laughs> and unlike monitors that are heavily carnivorous, actually tegus are omnivores. They will eat a lot of meat, but they definitely eat fruits and vegetables. He sees the ball, he knows that there's potentially food, he's interested, and now I'm gonna give him this and see if he wants to try to eat it. Do you wanna try, buddy? Come on, I think you'll really like it. He's definitely sniffing it like this smells good, but he's not sure what to do with it. He will definitely take bananas for sure. He loves bananas, strawberries, but he's never had pumpkin before, and I don't know if he knows what to do with it. Definitely 
definitely really interested. You can see that tongue response is like, what is this? He just doesn't know if he wants to take a bite or not. No, he is definitely like, no dad, I'm not interested in pumpkins. What's the matter, do you not like Halloween? Come on, buddy bud. All right, Jared, you're okay. Not everything is gonna go according to plan, but we're gonna keep trying. No, it's crushing. I'm feeling sick. <laughs> I got too much stuff up my nose. Mm. 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 Baby, go. <laughs> you guys doing okay? Crushing? Mm -hmm. What do we win for this? Nothing. A pumpkin pie. <laughs> A fruit pie. We never win anything. <laughs> we work for Mr. Beast. <laughs> I wish Mr. Beast was our boss. The <laughs> challenge would be a lot harder. Mmm, this is so good though. How, how much pie do you think this is? It's one whole pie. Mmm. It's so much pie. It's just so good. Look who's out and about, my guy Drogo. Now I actually tried pumpkin in the past with Drogo and he's a pretty finicky animal. He likes some things and doesn't like other things. But I'm not sure what he's gonna do with this. Do you wanna try Drogo? <gasps> Looks like he wants it. There you go, Drogues. Yeah, he likes it. Like I said, the last time I tried, he didn't like it at all. But this time he's definitely eating it, which is great because he likes a lot of variety. The more variety that we give him, the better for him. He definitely loves it. stuff like yucca root. He loves apple. He loves zucchini. And now he loves pumpkin. Look at how cute that is. Oh my God, that is so cool. So happy that he's doing this. Again, I love giving our animals treats and giving them different things. It's just a great enrichment for him. This is absolutely incredible. And he is munching it down like you can't believe he loves it. That is so cool. You want another piece, Drogo? Oh yeah. You have no idea the joy I get when I see my animals loving things like this. This is just, it just, I'm exploding with excitement right now. Matilda usually loves pumpkins. She loves this time of year. You want to try, bud? Uh. There you go, Matilda. She's got such powerful beak. I tell you, that's why you don't want to get bit by her. Because, I mean, that beak has got some strength to it. Just rips that pumpkin off like nothing. Gonna love it. You want some more, girl? There you go, girl. Ah, yeah. It's crazy, you know, pumpkins are pretty tough. And to just see her just be able to rip that apart, it's absolutely incredible. So I'm not gonna feed her a tremendous amount of pumpkin often, but every now and then it's pretty good for them, right? They like really like straw and roughage and stuff like that. Fruits aren't typically the best for tortoises, but when it comes to gourds, these actually do work pretty well. There you go, girl. Oh, she's so strong. Ah, there you go. Ah, look at that like nothing. But I'm sure my other tourists will love some pumpkin too. Let's go ahead and roll a time lapse. Erwin the northern blue tongue skink is definitely an omnivore. We'll see if he wants to try a little piece of pumpkin. You'll like it. These guys often eat bananas, strawberries, blueberries. We'll see if he wants to give this a go. Just isn't willing to give it a try. You know what we can maybe try is a little bit of this. This might entice him a little bit more. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what he needed. He just needed a little bit of the pulp. He liked that. Look at that. Come on, Erwin. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, he loved it. He's immediately like, yes. So now we know. And that's the thing that's interesting about animals, right? You can take a solid piece and he's not interested but one that shredded up like this he just absolutely went after it immediately it has a different smell a different texture found another thing that Erwin loves <laughs> okay I'm done Mike you are the winner of the pumpkin pie eating challenge I wanted to taste the pies but uh I don't think that's gonna you can work. Hear that piece right Here, there there's this piece right by <laughs> <Try> that <laughs> go ahead dad Mike is still eating. He doesn't even have to. You can use your hands now. You oh, want. sweet. You guys should clean yourself up. You don't want to create this challenge on me. I don't want any more. Can I get some more whipped cream? Yeah. Oh, it's a whole pie. Did that come out of his nose? It's an entire pie you're eating. You That's know it. that this is challenge is over. Can I just have some whipped cream? <laughs> I'm going to do it. Open your mouth wider. There you go. You want some? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Got it in your hair. This is the best day ever. You guys may notice that we're all wearing Reptile Army shirts. These are the Halloween drop. Go ahead, link in the description, reptilearmy.com. These are only going to be available till October 31st. October 31st! <laughs> oh, 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 sh! Yeah. Well, there goes the shirt. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys got some cleanup. Literally do this so that we didn't have cleanup. Now you guys have a lot to clean up. Bye, merch! Diddy and Dixie are omnivores as well. They mainly eat vegetables, but they love this type of treat. I don't know if they're gonna like pumpkin. Come on, Dixie! Let's see if she's gonna like it. Wanna try? Oh yeah, look at that. Right off the rip. They absolutely love it. Alright, I'm gonna try again. Oh, don't, don't chase him away, Diddy. There you go, bud. Uh-oh. 
fight about to happen. Dixie, you want this? Yep, you like that? Oh my gosh, they love pumpkins. Especially Dixie, do you like it too? Oh my gosh, I didn't think they'd like it this much. This is awesome. This is so cool to see them do this. They're my little puppy dogs and I love them to death. Wow, they are just devouring it. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. I tell you what, I am so glad that these pumpkins worked out. Speaking of out, Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>